So today's video is about um, story problems and equations. So this is equations from story problems. And this actually comes from the math teacher worksheet. So I know you don't have this in front of you. Oops, teacher. So I'm going to actually... In so there's the math teacher worksheet, or, or a, a portion of the math teacher worksheet, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing some of the even-numbered problems. Remember that your job is to the odd-numbered problems, so I'm going to do these three even-numbered problems um, to help you um, see how to get your answers. Uh, and then you have to obviously go back and do the odd. Now, because I'm actually doing problems directly from the worksheet, you could actually use these answers, which are going to go over here, and then you can use them to find the answer to the clue um, down at the bottom. After you get the equation over here, then the answer to the equation is down at the bottom. And I know you can't see that because I didn't include it on the thing. But down at the bottom, there's all these spaces down here, and then you will be able to see the answers. Like it says 184 and 234 and 175, so you can actually go, so after you solve these, you can actually go find the answer at the bottom. Okay, so the first one says, Ben and Jerry together own 24 comic books. If Ben owns six comic books, how many does Jerry own? Well, a couple of things I think of. You know, when I think of Ben and Jerry, I think of, okay, B plus J has to equal 24. So Ben's comic books plus Jerry's comic books has to equal 24 comic books. So there's the beginning equation right there. It also tells me that Ben owns 6. So the B variable is really 6. Now, right now, you can actually see pretty easily um, how to find the answer um, because we could just subtract 6 from both sides. But your job is to first find the, the equation over here in which one of these equations is the correct equation. Notice that all the equations over on the right are written in X form. So we don't want to have the J, we want to have the X. Now, can we find an equation like this over here? And I do see it right down here, it's the letter M. And so that means this answer is letter M. And if we actually did solve it, which would be minus 6 minus 6, x would equal 18. And then down at the bottom, there is an 18 that you can use to put in the m. Let's try another one. Let's try number 4. Uh, number 4 says, on first down, a football team had a loss of 8 yards. After two downs, the team had an overall gain of 20 yards. How many yards were gained on the second down? So in this one, first of all, you have to kind of understand the problem. So we're playing, obviously, a game of football. Um, the football is going to be on the field. And if you can't, if football doesn't make sense, you can think of it's you know the same thing of, as any um, kind of sport, whether it's soccer, football, or anything where you have to move the ball. I mean, you can even think of hockey if you want. Um, but somewhere the football is where it's at. And then after the first down, they lose eight yards. So mathematically, if you think about losing something, you're going to be negative. So somehow, we need to lose eight yards. But then after the second downs, they had an overall gain of 20, which would be a positive 20. So when they say overall, to me that means, okay, we're going to be equaling something. And then what would we be equaling? Equaling, excuse me, we're going to equal a total of 20 yards. So here's the football beginning. They lose 8 yards, but then in the end they actually are a total or at a positive 20 yards. So when I look over here, I don't see that exact equation, and part of your job is actually to find the equation, even if it's not written the same as you have it. But there it is right there. It's the letter U. And notice that they have it written negative 8 plus x equals 20. So here's the loss of 8 yards. Then they played another down, which is right there. And after the second down, so here's like the first down, the second down. Then after the second down, they had a grand total of positive 20 yards. So again, doesn't quite match, 
our original equation doesn't quite match this one over here, but part of your job is to be able to figure that out. Now, of course, we have to solve it, which would be a pretty quick add 8 to both sides, x equals 28, and then you'd find a 28 down at the bottom. Let's do another one. Uh, last one, number 6. A bank of eight floodlights. So bank means basically a row of eight lights. Together use 1,000 watts of power. How much power is used by each bulb? So we've got eight floodlights. We know that they're going to use 1,000 watts. That's, that's the, um, num the amount of power that those lights are using. How much does each bulb use? Well, to me, I think, okay, if I've got 1,000, I divide by 8, that will give me the total number of watts or the watts used by each individual bulb. But if I look over here, I don't see 1,000 divided by 8 anywhere. I do see some thousands. So one of the things you can do when you're doing these kind of problems is you can kind of look for the problems with numbers in it that make sense, okay? And then we can kind of eliminate. Um, so this says that we've got 1,000 watts. It does not make sense that we'd have a negative 1,000. So I'm going to cross that one out. Um, what about 1 eighth? Now, this first one up here, the R, 1 eighth X equals 1,000. Well, that one sort of makes sense, but nah, I'll just keep it there for a second. What about this next one, X plus 8 uh, equals 1,000? Well, we're not going to add 8 to anything because we don't, we're going to be trying to divide something. So that's not going to really help me out either. So I now have to think, okay, is it going to be 1 8 X equals 1,000 or 8 X equals 1,000? Well, let's kind of test that out. If I had 1 8 X equals 1,000, how would I solve that? Well, I'd have to solve by multiplying by 8. If I did that, I'd get X equals 8,000. That does not make sense to me because every bulb doesn't use 8 thousand watts because if that were true then the total watts would be like 64,000 so this does not make sense to me what about the next one the next one says uh, 8x equals 1,000 okay to solve this one I would divide by 8 oh wait that's what I did up here so that one makes sense to me so the actual equation is 8x equals 1,000, which would be this one right here, and that is the letter B. Okay, so again, your job is to do these right here. I would even say do the rest of them as well. You can do it by kind of process of elimination. You can also do it by actually just finding the correct equation like we did here, and then the answers go down in the bottom to get you your um, answer to the clue. The question is, what did the math teacher say after spending eight hours in the ice and snow? And down at the bottom, you'll have a hilarious joke. Ha, ha, ha. Have a great day.